In spite of gale force winds, the Canadian wildfires that have already driven tens of thousands of people from their homes and even leaped a lake are still spreading at an alarming rate and showing no signs of slowing down. Official trackers reveal that hundreds of fires that are now categorized as out of control are blazing over the North American continent, most of which are more than 1,000 hectares in size. According to the Canadian Wildland Fire Information System CUFIS, at least twice as many new fires had started to replace the hundreds of blazes that had been burning over the previous 24 hours, but were now under control. Locals in Lahaina informed Daily Mail. Com that the death toll has been understated and is actually at least 480. This comes after horrifying wildfire images on Maui, Hawaii, where 111 people have been reported killed and hundreds are still missing. Locals claimed that the situation was so bad that mortuaries were out of corpse bags. 43 miles per hour winds pushed flames across Lake Okanagan in one of West Kelowna, British Columbia's worst hit districts and numerous homes were destroyed en route. After the flames compelled residents in Kelowna's Clifton neighborhood to evacuate on Friday morning, the city has now declared a local state of emergency. The size of the flames in the city has increased 100-fold over the previous 24 hours as they expanded from the northwest of the city. According to the BC Wildfire Service, they have already consumed 6,800 hectares of land. After flames that had been raging since Tuesday crossed Lake Okanagan and expanded into portions of Kelowna, several of the hills surrounding the city were ablaze in the early morning light. According to West Kelowna Fire Chief Jason Broland, we fought hard last night to protect our community. The orange hue of the clouds and the flames made night change into day. Apocalyptic images may be seen in local videos and photos. Images taken during the daytime depict burning houses and forests against golden sky covered in thick, choking clouds of smoke. In other footage, the skyline is hardly discernible as smoke drifts in all directions towards residents of West Kelowna who are huddled on the side of a road, helplessly watching their hometown burn. In the same area, firefighters can be seen putting out enormous fires that dwarf their water hoses. Officials said that more than 2,400 homes were evacuated, and thousands more are on alert to depart as soon as required. More than 20,000 people have been instructed to leave their houses as similar events have raced across the area adjacent to Yellowknife, the capital of the Northwest Territories. Officials have issued a warning that if there isn't a much-needed downpour, out-of-control flames would choke off access to the sole roadway leading out of the city by the weekend. Yellowknife Airport saw the departure of evacuation planes as well. Inhabitants of the regional capital had until noon on Friday to flee. Firefighters were building fire breaks, setting up sprinkler systems and water cannons, and applying fire retardant in an effort to stop the flames from spreading to the city, which is still a possibility in the days ahead according to officials. Officials issued a warning that strong northern winds may direct the flames onto the sole roadway going away from the fire, which was congested by protracted caravans of automobiles. According to Mike Westwick, the fire information officer for the Northwest Territories, northwest winds over the next two days will push the fire in directions we don't want. 6,800 people from eight other villages including the little town of Enterprise, which was entirely devastated, were also compelled to leave their homes across a larger area. A total of 10 aircraft with 1,500 people departed Yellowknife on Thursday, and another 22 aircraft with 1,800 passengers are anticipated to depart on Friday. At a news conference, Shane Thompson, a government minister for the territories, stated, I want to be clear that the city is not in immediate danger and that there is a safe window for residents to leave the city by road and by air. It's probable that, in the absence of rain, the fire may spread to the city's outskirts by the weekend. Premier Caroline Cochrane wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, We're all tired of the word unprecedented. 
Yet there is no other way to describe the situation in the Northwest Territories. The Infernos, which are the newest chapter in Canada's worst fire season on record, threaten to hurl huge plumes of poisonous smoke over the United States in a repeat of earlier this summer's comparable events. According to a forecast map provided by the government, smoke will be pushed over the Midwest and into the eastern United States on Friday. The 46,000 people who live in the Northwest Territories are projected to be relocated in around 65% of the cases. Firefighting crews were clearing vegetation to provide fire breaks, installing sprinkler systems, and starting intentional fires to burn off fuel before the larger wildfire arrived. According to the fire department, as a result of unusually dry weather that has affected much of Canada, Experts claim that climate change has made the wildfire situation worse. This year's flames have been more numerous and more intense due to drought and high temperatures.